Hello, so I thought today I'd talk about mental health and menopause because yesterday was Mental Health Awareness Day and next week is Menopause Awareness Week really. You'll see a few posts over the month I'm sure that are talking about Menopause Awareness Month and I talked about this a bit last week, so like how are we aware that we are going into menopause but today it seems appropriate to talk about mental health and I guess for myself I'm feeling pretty troubled by world events and you know how does that affect us mentally I, I actually I think the word I would attach to that is anguish and that I'm feeling concerned you know that and and so so how would I interpret that if that starts to impinge on my daily life or come into my sleep or my dreams and what would I do about that it was a natural health practitioner we have lots of solutions for mental health issues like anxiety depression loss of confidence and these are things that I think can hit us suddenly in menopause and it might be that for the first time in our life we experience depression it might be that we experience that loss of confidence. Suddenly it's like, oh, I'm not sure I can do my job to the capacity that I could. And that is not uncommon. And if you've experienced those things throughout your life, then it might not be news to you. It might sort of creep up on you slowly. But for some women that happens quite fast and they've never experienced, you know, any kind of disturbance on a mental health level before. And that can often get misdiagnosed, you know, so you go to the doctor and the doctor's not, because they're not trained in it, they're not asking questions like how, um, you know, how, how is it for this person and why is this happening for them and could it be menopause? And we're seeing signs of perimenopause earlier. So in our early 40s, and as I said last week, you know, 42 is the first sign that I had that things were changing really. And for some women it's late late thirties that that comes up. So if that's not recognized as potentially perimenopause, then a woman may well get misdiagnosed and, and be given the wrong kind of medication. And that's quite common for me to see that in practice. But I wanted to talk about some solutions today. So um, I didn't bring in a big bag of Epsom salts, but I could have done. Uh, I could have bought, bought in some uh, Better You magnesium spray oil. And you'll always hear me talk about magnesium in relation to you, the, each of the different phases of menopause. So in perimenopause, we might be utilising magnesium because we've got imbalanced blood sugar. And mentally, that would, that would manifest as mood swings. You know, so you might find yourself suddenly angry or suddenly in tears. And that can be because the root is imbalanced blood sugar. So a solution, part of a solution, might be um, getting magnesium into your life. Then um, we move into what I call true menopause, when things really start to happen. And you know, there's big change, and we're more likely to be using magnesium, for instance, for hot sweats, um, for insomnia, sleep difficulties, um, and these surges of anxiety that can crop up. Post-menopause, we're gonna use magnesium to help keep our bones strong. So for me, that's a fundamental, that's a given, and I call it one of my holy trinity. But in relation to mental health, magnesium relaxes the system. So it soothes the system, it soothes the nerves, it relaxes muscular tension. So all of the things that can go with a mental health issue and that might be that someone manifests headaches or eye strain as a result of um, tension in their body. Magnesium could help with that in some way. And my favourite ways to do it, as I've said, are a Better You spray oil or one of the other brands. So, so what we call magnesium chloride as a spray oil or magnesium sulphate, which is Epsom salts in the bath. And there are some good supplements now um, to take orally, but I'm pretty careful about what I recommend on that front. However, I wanted to talk about some other things. So to me, magnesium is a given for releasing and anxiety, stress, tension type issues that arise when we're talking about mental health. Sometimes we are, is a sense of strain and exhaustion. And if I was going to look at some of my homeopathic remedies, I've just brought a couple in here. 
um, I really like this remedy called Kalifos, and you can get this as what we call a tissue salt very easily um, from a health food store or um, somebody who's dispensing homeopathic remedies. Some, some health food stores do do that, so they have an actual dispensary, and we've got a couple near where I live in North London. We've got some homeopathic pharmacies that just dispense homeopathic remedies. And then we've got health stores, which often have a small range of what we call tissue salts or homeopathic remedies. And the tissue salts are low potency, low strength, and they're fine to take alongside other things that you're doing. And Kalifos is, I'll put a link to it actually down below, and um, a site where you can get a 15% discount. I've got a code for that. But Kalifos is the nervous system. So it's like exhaustion of the nervous system. If you've been straining, if you've been running on empty, fantastic remedy to help gently restore. And it might be, it also has a capacity, um, if we're looking at physical things, uh, to help with immune support. It is one of the remedies that we would use to help tackle immunity. Hi Helen, nice to see you. And hi Suzanne. Um, if you're watching this on Catch Up, by the way, then please press hashtag replay so that we keep videos live for a, for a week or so for other people to see. And this remedy, phosphoric acid, sounds similar, doesn't it? Kalifos for exhausted nervous system, for being worn out, perhaps from overstudy. Kalifos, this one is called phosphoric acid or phosac. Um, its abbreviation is, and you might see it in some pharmacies called acid phos. But nevertheless, this remedy is for exhaustion, particularly in relation to grief and loss. And it's a f and also loss of vital fluids. So if somebody had, um, you know, a, a di an exhausting diarrhea, for instance, this might be one of the remedies that we use. So the phosphoric element um, relates to you being a bit burnt out, basically. So homeopaths love to talk about things elementally. So we might look at minerals as a source for our remedies. We might look at plants as our, a source for our remedies. And these are both minerals. And I'm just going to mention one other remedy, which, which was amazing for me um, through menopause, really. And that is a very deep acting remedy at the heart level. And it's a remedy called Aurum Met. And this remedy is is made from gold so it's another mineral element and it is a fantastic remedy for people who have a lot of responsibility in their lives who feel that they're not able to meet the needs of those that they're responsible for it's a great remedy for feeling depressed you know so i might give it to a woman who feels very low and depressed before her period it is a deep acting remedy i wouldn't expect you to walk in and get this one in a health food store it's more likely that you'll have it on prescription, but it is a wonderful remedy for joy, a renewal of joy, renewal of courage, renewal of faith and hope in the world. So that's why I've brought it in, because I'm feeling a little bit dispirited about what's going on in the world at the moment. And um, I haven't actually got that in my sights. I've got something more for anguish, I guess, you know, but it, it's troubled me. My dreams are disturbed by world events. And, you know, I'm conscious that that has us thinking about the safety for those of those in our care, of people who live in war-torn areas, um, perhaps clients or, or friends or colleagues. And, you know, we can't help but think of those at times like this. So. You know, we could use something like this, which is an Australian bushflower essence. And these are the combination essences. And I often talk about these because they're very easy to get hold of. So rather than go for a single essence for a specific thing, we could use a remedy like this, calm and clear, for keeping steady. And I would just put six drops or seven drops of this into a glass of filtered or spring water and sip it throughout the day as I'm at work if I want to keep calm, keep grounded and um, keep focused as well. It's a remedy that I might help to keep my mind on the job in hand. If we have a lot of negative thoughts and that might be that we are exploring an issue in relation to somebody, you know, or we have someone in our life, it could be a boss, it could be, um, it could be parents, um, it could be uh, work colleagues, 
and we have negative thoughts. This is a fantastic combination essence for clearing negative thoughts. So I'll often recommend this one while people are doing uh, detox or cleanse with me. It's called purifying essence, but actually it's fantastic for clearing negative thoughts, unwanted thoughts, for feeling like thoughts are intruding, for wanting to create a more beneficent relationship with somebody and you feel like negative thoughts are getting in your way, purifying essence is lovely. And usually with these types of remedies, you know, I mentioned using this bush flower essence calm and clear, just seven drops in water, sipped through the day. When we're working with an issue, we might use these for a bit longer. So we might use seven drops of this morning and night for two weeks. I prefer these in a glass of water and I prefer always filtered <laughs> or spring water but sitting down you know being conscious that I am giving myself a remedy rather than just throwing it back so I'm more likely to put these into a glass of water but you could just put the drops onto your tongue and you know get on with your day but when you're working with an issue and you are trying to clear something I'll probably take this for two weeks seven drops twice a day for two weeks Another one for, you know, surges of anxiety, really, um, which, you know, are quite something in menopause. It's quite a shock. Uh, you just suddenly, you're just like, where did that come from? Why do I feel like this? And it, it's a sudden drop or change in hormones. And emergency essence can be another one that you would use for panic anxiety. It's much more acute in a way than calm and clear. And Helen's just asked, can you put two together? Yes, you could, although I tend not to in the main. I like to focus on, you know, what is the core issue? What is what is going on right now? And again, this one, if you're dealing with, you know, if you're going through a stressful period, you might take it twice a day or you might just grab this when feeling panicky. Um, two other things that I've brought in with me just before I talk about a, a spray an aura spray, um, is I've brought in a cup of green tea, you know, and making time for ourselves in menopause is fundamental to mental health. If we've got a lot going on around us, then, you know, trying to make time for ourselves, and for many women, if you've got a busy house with, hi Vicky, I was just thinking of you, with lots of people around in your house, um, then it might be that getting up early for the first time in your life and having a cup of tea in the morning to yourself is is what has to be established in menopause, that quiet time. Many, many women will say that in order to feel like they've accomplished something in the day, they will go to bed late. You know, that 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 um, they'll sort out everybody's bedtime, um, supper, put things away, and that kind of folding, ordering, sorting the house can have us going to bed late, um, which isn't great, but then we have won some time for ourselves. But finding time, you know, so for me, having that cup of green tea in the morning, sitting quietly, you know, even if I'm perhaps going through some social media and just sitting and looking at that, I, me, I like to have that quiet time. I don't really talk much to people in the morning, you know, because I know that for probably for the rest of the day, I'm going to be doing quite a lot of talking as part of my work. So establishing quiet time, boundary time that is yours to be restorative is fundamental for mental health in menopause and might be the first time that we've we've done that. Those of you that know me well will know that I'm a big fan of green superfoods. You know, and I can find if I'm feeling edgy um, in the day and I'm working, I'm doing a lot of screen time, that a green superfood drink just has me feeling lovely and grounded again. These green foods connect us to the earth. So it's reconnection often to the earth, to nature, to a grounding practice of some sort that can really, really help. So one last thing to you mention for mental health, mental health awareness um, that I really like and actually are increasingly popular are, are some kind of aura or body spray. So you're just gonna spray this around you. It's like you're just gonna ask this to enter your system. And this is um, my All Woman Rose body spray. And I bought through the All Woman Rose flower essence during um, perimenopause and it was made from a rose that I was nurturing um, in West Coast Australia 
And it's wonderful for issues of conflict, particularly between women, particularly between groups of women. Um, I've used it to clear houses and spaces of negative energy. Um, yes, Helen, a green, green smoothie is crucial too. I love that. Um, <clears throat> and um, yeah, see, this is, this is a wonderful uh, flower essence that I've gifted to you, many friends, and eventually I'll, I'll bring out as a product. Um, because, you know, the feedback is it really helps with calming before bedtime, helps with hot flushes. So it's got some great menopause applications. My daughter used to use this um, to spray her clothes when she came home from work to just clear that kind of negative um, energy of work from her clothes. You know, so there's something about it, about clearing space for ourselves. And, and so that I wanted to mention that. Thanks, Vicky. Me too. I love mine. <laughs> I've made three different versions of this, actually. This one is, is All Woman Rose Light. Um, there's All Woman Rose Love and All Woman, Woman Rose Power. And so those are different states that we might want to achieve. We might want to come into our power. So we're using an aura spray in that sense. We might want to manifest more love and acceptance in our life. Or we might recognize that we need to um, <clears throat> keep things light, keep things um, easier for us, you know, if times are complex. So that's all I'm going to chat about today. Thanks for joining me. And if you're watching on, on replay, press hashtag replay. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I need a sip of my green tea. <laughs> As ever, if you want to learn more, you want to find more out about your menopause journey, I've got some great courses and workshops particularly my my mini uh, for men menopause workshops that for each stage. So I'll, I'll pop the links to those down below. But thank you and have a great day and see you here again soon. Bye.